Let's give this another try, shall we? <clears throat> so, we are primarily waiting for the great work to be done, and then we are hopefully working through that. So, I could just speed up a little bit more, but as you know, I'm always a little bit hesitant to do that. Uh, however, I think we can risk it to speed along through time. You are my commander, and you are my good commander. Hmm. Yeah, let us persist. We have become diligent, very good. Peculiar tradition. And we have flourishing trade following the celebrations of our coronation. Nice, we need a new marshal. No strong vassal in line for it, so... Someone who's halfway young and competent. This guy. All trained troops over here. 90% chance to become stressed, but raising the quality of our work. We did not become stressed. I am impressed to say the least. The new holy precipice Alexander received was destroyed because they already had one. So the foreskin of Jesus they got was destroyed because they already had a foreskin of Jesus. We are no longer craven. And you are intriguing. Okay, are we brave? Oh, but we can become brave now by telling the Pope to stay out of her business. And you wish our half sister and this commander of Bohemia to marry. Fine by me. Our son has become a naive appeaser. I mean, he is a genius, but didn't do too well with his studies. And he is a strong vassal, so he would be good in this position. We'll just have him uncover plots for us. That's a fairly safe thing to do. A mysterious Jewish person comes, and he's very good at intrigue, and that f means we immediately send him away. Because I don't want to put him into the driver's seat, if anything. And he'll just be very good and linger around. I don't know. Okay, we got some technology, military, nature that we can spend. We could put more info into infantry, which definitely we're going to do, because we are... Now only just caught up to the times, basically. Another family has been butchered. Let's give her something, not much. Okay, this guy became part of the protectorate. Doesn't matter to us. I'm just waiting for a great work to be done. Okay, we are already a scholar, so... Are we? Could become zealous. Plus two martial. Other faith. Or we could go for two learning. Go for two learning, why not? So all the scholarly pursuits are done. And since we got two learning, we can continue writing a book without having to have the scholarship focus, so we can switch to something else. What would make sense? Carousing. We haven't done any good carousing in a while, and we want to see the realm prosper anyway, so let's get our vassals and carouse with them. 
always go for non-aggression packs first before inviting them, if they are offered. They are quite useful. People like us very well anyway, so it's okay. Everyone be kind and nice to us, please. One wants to be kind and nice to us. Now let's check our court out too. Alright. All the non-aggression packs being signed inside of the realm. And lots of people are coming. Something happened here. You? Are you just your own thing? Are you just discount? No, you're not. You're all this. The hard for Egypt was successful, it seems. Queen of Bohemia. Yes. That's her. We will start our small feast. Yeah, everyone calm down. Be nice. Fun. And our courtier has become a very good person. Could become kind as our father was. We are emulating a legend in that. So everyone is happy. Troth can marry. Let's see, what can we do with you? Holy War for Scala. What can we do with you? Just order disputes. Do anything with you? Still only county title claim. Just speed along a bit more. Over there is a child that needs some direction in life. Oh yeah, you go. Look at that. You're really good at that already. There seems to be some internal conflict in my courtiers. Sure, she shall be diligent. And she became paranoid. Must learn on her own. What technology points to spend? Parcel infrastructure 5 is not really helping us much, but it's where we want to go. At least it gives us more castle tax. And yes. So she has three bloodlines. He has one. So their children, since they are married matrilineal, should have three bloodlines in them. I think. But I'm not entirely sure. Because I've never actually managed the joining of bloodlines through marriage. Uh, this guy challenged me to a duel. Away. Alright, let's pause real quick. And have some more carousing, starting with our court. Uh, our chancellors, I mean. Can we do thing law related that makes sense? No. Just carouse with these people. Our son has usurped some titles there. Is that mine? Yeah. We have one at board games. We are now a dedicated carouser, giving us plus two diplomacy. We need to be something, be that. Oops. 
Once, look at that. Look at what diplomacy does for you. That's fantastic. Those are some well-fed and happy, happy, happy vassals. actually even earning money you have seen the realm prosper fantastic I like it apostate burned oh what happened down here oh dear steward has usurped a little bit he has gotten strong. Who can be in prison? Him. We'll just carouse with him. Only him. So maybe he becomes our friend. Very small feast. And thus he becomes our friend. Thus he will end his plot. No? Fabricating title claims. I don't like that. He's also pretty strong. We are stronger, but he's pretty strong. Big fan of that. Let us make ourselves a bit stronger then. This a training ground. Keeps. Oh no, we're no longer kind. Same. When will this be finished? Does not tell us. Is a host sieging Marienburg? The jihad for Egypt failed. Will not take a lover. We have lost a whole bunch of commanders for reasons unclear to me, but we will find them all over the world. Him. Him. I'm not even looking at age right now because all of these are pretty young. Get these commanders in their seats. They go take care of that. Yeah, let's make sure we got the good commanders in here. Didn't help. Did not help. Okay. Can deal with it. We'll just have to try again. Harry, let us allow them to... No room in our court, I am sorry to say. Let's check our steward is actually doing construction work. Because we have switched the steward around a bit. Having such high opinion of you and your vassals also helps with any sort of Succession. How would you look at that? Diplomacy. What? No, I'm not gonna press her claim. So he is going to war over what down there? border dispute 
Oh, he's strong enough to take her out. Potentially, anyway. She's facing a bunch of... Little rebellions there. Let's see how our vassal does. And our great work is done. Great stuff. So now we can go and build more book collection. It should be fairly quick compared to the leveling up of the thing itself. Let's get some stables going. The king demands more horses. Oh, he won. And Catalan Courtesy has been added to our treasury. Let's see what Catalan Courtesy can do. Plus one diplomacy, one learning, and 15 vassal opinion for the temple ones. But that's not bad. 15 temple vassal opinion can secure you a bunch of money. Tax income. So have we gotten a grandson yet? Let's check all the bloodlines. Yeah, look at that. A whole lot of bloodlines. I chief this. Yeah. Okay, he won his little war there. these have weak claims on press having several host raiders but not my personal stuff so I'm fine court physician died or chaplain everyone loves us we do more carousing. Ever more. All the parties in the realm. Ah, finally. There's a man. Two men, actually. For whom we could press the duchy titles. Okay. Let's do that after we carouse. Just lost our retinue. Who had long served as well, but now they were destroyed, and a commander died in the process as well. Start our feast. Some best friends. Our court. There we go. Writing history challenge silver. And we are now looking at the writing history challenge gold. So we're going to or the history collection that as you can see I've been just very conservative with our gold spending here we could have spent way more while we were waiting but I don't like surprises so <clears throat> we do have some holdings which I don't want like this one up here we're going to go ahead and check over here this guy is our commander already, Gerald Pirast. We're going to grant Gerald Pirast the county of Zemgale and include the lower titles with it. And now we can go ahead and press his ducal claim on all of this over there. And we're going to speed down, which you can do while you are paused, so that's nice. And we raise all our troops. 
and raise some of them into this uh, fight up there, which isn't ideal. And we send even more into that battle, which is also not ideal. So let's walk around there. No, you don't get to destroy 400 of mine. Okay, so what we need to make sure right now, because this man is a commander of ours, we need to relieve him. Yeah, he's a good commander, but we can't risk him dying right now. So we will relieve him. Put other people in his place. I think we can cross the river and just attack them. No longer brave, which is a shame. Oh, let's go on it. Diet. Looks okay. This piece. Split our army. One of them will be led by the siege master, probably the one that actually sieges what we need. Oh, I just paying off good stuff. Still working on our book collections. Okay, I don't think we need to watch him anymore. We got out of him what we wanted. Oh no. This we need to take care of. This is an issue. But I want to finish my sieges first. At least one. Probably going to immediately come counter siege. Let's combine. Run over him. And then go fight them. This is a terrible position for a headquarters because every time we go into the west we have to cross a river to defend it. Quickly, I mean. Can do it, of course, in a different manner. The Lithuanian language part 3 was just stolen from us. By this host. See, it's never good to have these hosts in your capital. It's just the absolute worst thing. God damn. Take care of this now. I hate these hosts. With a burning passion. Yes, we are on our knees saying, please, please, please forgive us. We were a Kinslayer briefly because I always forget that if you burn an apostate, you are also a Kingslayer. A Kinslayer. Never a good thing. And more technology. Ooh, even more majesty. Let's be the most majestic in the world. We aren't even the most majestic in the world. It's over here. But we are a beacon of majesty out here in the west. We have won another battle. Barracks, more barracks. I'm not happy with losing that book. Books are important. Just lost our marshal because she was a heathen. So let's put in someone halfway good. Yeah.
Uh, let's fight them once more. That should give us enough of what we need. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I would like to have some commanders here. And we have gotten everything we need for the monarch's journey. That's that. We usually would say goodbye now, but I want to finish this up. I feel like we've gotten so far already. It would be a shame to just leave it at 2% left. And then, as usual, we're going to resign and look at all the accomplishments that our house has accomplishment during all this. That way, we have taken everything. Very good. So, Lithuania is looking good. And we have done writing history now. Very good. Are all the things that we needed to be. And that was a pretty quick Monarch's Journey, though some of these episodes were really, really long. Uh, so let us resign and have a quick look back at the history of things, because it was very turbulent uh, during some phases of our playthrough. So we started out with High Chief Mindaugas, who immediately became Christian, or very quickly, and also formed the Kingdom of Lithuania after forming his own two duchy titles. He was then succeeded by, I believe, his son, King Kariotas of Lithuania, who ruled for a whopping 11 month, dying in battle at the age of 19. Who was then succeeded by his son, King Mandaugas II of Lithuania, who ruled for seven years. And, well, he died, I don't remember how, but... Um, he then, as a child king, uh, died and... and he wasn't murdered. Oh right, he, he was sick. He died. Um, he died of sick of sickness. That's how he died. So instead of our uncle, our father became the new king of Lithuania, and he ruled for a whopping 57 years. And he became the theo theologian by forging our bloodline, and then we succeeded him as he died at the age of 63. To become the king of Lithuania twice over, as well as the heir to the high chiefdom of Kuronia, which I'm not entirely sure where that is, but we ruled for 21 years until we finished the monarch's journey. And that was quite exciting and a lot of things happened. Um, yeah, so if you joined me for the whole thing, I thank you very much and I'm sure we're gonna see each other around on this channel. Um, Maybe by the time this releases, Crusader Kings 3 has been out, but I'm happy to have finished all the Crusader Monarchs journeys in Crusader Kings 2 right before it released. So yeah, that's kind of like a little personal achievement that I wanted to do, and I feel accomplished for it. So thanks for watching, I hope you have a great fantastic time, and see you around.